there's going to be people that are gross, but we have to stop trying to group people together as in, oh, maybe Islam people and Muslims do this, or maybe Christians do this. Or Han meditation. Hey guys, it's Han and Kelly back with Hi. another video. So we're excited to have you guys here and we're just, we're going to start making a lot of content this month. We're back on it, you know, and we're having fun with it guys. So let's, you know, just come in, enjoy it with us. Let's have fun. Let's watch some content together, guys. So let's, let's get into it. What Muslim countries do is a different story. Sometimes you have Muslim countries that do all kinds of things. For example, honor killing or this one or that one, or if you f someone being beaten or something, you'll find some pictures or videos online. The right wing people are putting videos and pictures of people do, doing things which are not in line with Islam. Mm -hmm. For example, molesting women or sexual assault or something like that. Oh, that's what. Yeah, because we had grooming and all that kind of thing. Yeah, because that's oh, that's what it was. You're reminding me because Tommy Robinson. Yeah, because he was here the other day, and that I think that's what he was talking. Yeah, about. in Islam, a man is not. Would you say that's a problem in Islam? And this no. isn't like a, a gotcha. No, 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 no. It's, it's not. It really is. because the thing is in Islam, there's strict rules about how a man or woman should operate. Mm -hmm. Okay, so for example, there's not allowed to be physical contact unless they're married. Mm -hmm. Any physical contact of any sort. Um, there's, so I, I, I find it hard to believe that someone, a religion that says you're not allowed to have any physical contact mm -hmm. and you shouldn't look at the woman lustfully, for example, which is something in the New Testament and the Quran as well, that you should be respectful to the woman. Yeah. How can you go from a religion that says that very clearly in its primary text mm -hmm. to, to justifying grooming somebody? Mm -hmm. So there is no causal link between what some people in the West may do. Mm -hmm. And we won't deny there are some people who do bad things, so Muslim people. You know, and what Islam. So you have to differentiate between Islam and Muslims, just mm -hmm. like you have to differentiate between Christianity and Christian, uh, mm -hmm. Christians. Mm -hmm. So someone's strongest argument against Islam is, oh, there's grooming gangs in the West and people are coming here because they want to come and live here. Mm -hmm. And that's why Christianity, therefore Christianity is true. So, is, yeah, but I'm not even, I'm just asking, is yeah. that, is what he's saying true? Are there like, There are, gangs? but there is a woman called Elaine Cockbane. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's a professor. I think she's she's written something about this and what she had shown is that actually uh, the grooming phenomena is not is not in fact uh, disproportionate to Muslims and Asians? Mm -hmm. She considers it to be a, a a problem, and also it's a problem with Westerners. It's mm -hmm. not just like you know minority groups. Mm -hmm. Another problem that is very specific to Westerners, and I looked at the reports. Um, there's one by the World Health Organization about mm -hmm. stranger rape. Now, obviously, rape itself. I mean, the the criterion of assessment of how do we do we agree with any woman without evidence? No, we don't. We have to have evidence for it. But for the sake of argument, the World Health Organization mentioned that stranger rape is actually more prominent in Western countries than it is in Islamic countries. Different kinds of rape, according to this report about mm -hmm. sexual assault, is in fact more prominent in the Islamic countries than Western countries. But according to this report, it's actually stranger rape is more so prominent. So I guess the way that I would guess mm -hmm. it, though, that, that's got to be because they call everything rape. And I'm not, I'm not saying it's right or it's wrong, but like my mind immediately goes to the reason those stats are out of control in the West is because they call everything rape. But then it should be commensurate with the other rape because there's sexual assault of like, for example, a close family member and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. That was lower in parts of the Western world as it was in other places. So mm -hmm. there's no issue here of this anonymity that get guaranteed. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? In these uh, reports, I'm not saying their reports are right or every claimant of rape is something which is true. But what I'm saying is that if we looked at the official and most strong mm -hmm. statistics that we have, there's no evidence that Muslim people are more likely to commit sexual assault on women than any non-Muslim people. Because mm -hmm. um, I think, I'm trying to remember, he would say it's because it's covered up, right? I think that's yeah. what Tommy would say. Like, why does, I'm just curious. Like, yeah, I mean. Because uh, it's mm. interesting because I'll, I'll talk to two people and they'll both, like, neither will seem to me to be liars, right? They'll yeah. both, like, I'll, they might be, I don't know. Yeah, okay, no, but no. I, I tend to like, you know, people. But I'll talk to you. You seem smart. You seem like, you know, you're telling me the truth. I'm giving you references Tommy, as well, right? Yeah, yeah. And Tommy, it's like a similar thing. And he'll also give, like, his references. You Look, know. there's, a, there's so, a kernel of truth in what he says. Yeah, and that's so, what makes it attractive. So my, my, my question more is, like, why does he, like, why do you think he thinks that? There are instances where you find people from an Asian background. Mm -hmm and a Muslim background that are committing sexual assault on women mm -hmm. who are white. That does happen in the West. It's happened in Germany. It's happened in, mm -hmm. uh, in the UK. Mm -hmm. Now, it's how you report on this issue. So, for example, if you were to say that this is something which comes back to Islam as a religion, mm 
-hmm. I say to you, prove that, please. Because in Islam as a religion, it's very strict on gender relations. In fact, that's mm -hmm. one of the central criticisms of Islamic countries, that there's so much, it's so strict, you know, a woman has to cover up. Why does a woman have to cover up? In the Quran, it says, vain. the reason why is so that she doesn't get molested. So to prevent mm -hmm. sexual assault. Mm -hmm. One of the reasons is to do that. So if the Quran is telling you this clearly, if this is in the in the basic precepts of the Quranic, of the Quranic discourse, then it's where you make a causal link between Islam and this phenomena where the fallacy lies because not every causation, not every correlation is a causation. Mm. You, you're jumping from a correlation, mm -hmm. which is not even a fair one, into a causation and that analysis is flawed. Another thing I would say is, if you look at human trafficking, mm -hmm. there's, in this country they have the Slavery Act. If you look at the, the, the particulars of that particular act and see who are the victims, according to the study, mm -hmm. of human trafficking, it's usually women from an ethnic background. And mm -hmm. who are the perpetrators? A lot of the time it's white men. Mm -hmm. So anyone can make a case about anything. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. if, I, if, if I dedicated my Twitter mm -hmm. and my YouTube to looking at all the white perpetrators of sexual assault, mm -hmm. putting a picture of them and saying, this guy done this and this, he was mm -hmm. convicted of that, that could be a full-time job for me. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then if I was to be even worse and say this is as a result of Christian teachings, so someone would say, what's, what's that got to do with Christian teaching? It could be a Christian man, mm -hmm. but that's nothing to do with Christian teaching. The Catholic Church is so, got, very famous for the priests uh, yeah, molesting yeah. the boys. Well, yeah, but if someone asked me like why like people thought that the, yeah. the priests were molesters, I would say because like it happened, you know, you know, yeah. I mean? like it wouldn't. There's like, nothing in Christianity that says that's yeah, legitimate. Co correct. Correct. Like, but I would just say it's because like that happened. You yeah. Know? Yeah. Sure. So I guess like, do you think it's more common in Islam or like from Muslim backgrounds? Or I don't do you think, think so. it's all made up? I don't think either of those propositions are true. I think the mm -hmm. truth is somewhere in the middle. Mm -hmm. Look, Islam is one out of four people in the world today. And in, oh, wow, that's high. Yeah, in the world, right? And if we're talking about the end of the century, it'll be one out of three people. It'll mm -hmm. be the biggest. Every, if, there was, if the world was in front of you and the population of the world is in front of you, one of every three people that you're going to meet in 2100, according to Pew Research, is going to be Muslim. So it's obviously when you have adherents of a faith that are that plentiful and numerous, mm -hmm. you're going to have a disproportionately higher number of criminals in that, num in that number. Okay, so your view is it's just there's a ton of people Yes. And that's that's why like that. No, I I think it's a little bit more complicated than that. I think okay. where you do find instances of criminality in the West by, mm -hmm. say, people from countries that are Muslim mm -hmm. is usually to do with social class. That's mm -hmm. my uh, uh, final okay. final analysis in the, in the sense that. If you, the number one predictor of criminality anywhere in the world, I think, is social class. A person who's rich has less reason to commit crimes than someone who's poor. OK. The risk reward ratio for them is less. And so it just so happens in the UK, for, for reasons to do with the war and history, after World War II, you know, obviously Britain was a colony. It brought all these people that are blue-collar workers from, from Pakistan, from India, from all these different countries to work as blue-collar workers. They were working class here. Mm. So a lot of them, a, a large contingent, became criminals, not because of where they're from or what belief they have. It's just because of the conditions they had. That's why you'll find, when I went to California mm -hmm. in the United States of America, the United States of America had a completely different selection process when they were bringing people into the country. And in California, for example, the same people from the same countries, mm. but they were middle class and now maybe even upper class mm. professionals and so on, because America was much more uh, careful as who's, who comes oh, in. So, now well, they, not they are, anymore. Yeah, not, maybe, <laughs> they just I don't let know. everyone in now. <laughs> I don't think so. I, now they've become, it's very difficult for even us to go inside there. As a, as, oh, as a visitor, legally, trust me, but yeah. no, no, freaking, even where I'm from, it's uh. like they... There's like buses and people. But on, on the issue of, yeah. because they don't have colonies in Pakistan and India yeah. and, uh, you know, these countries in the Middle East. And so as a result of that, when they're bringing people in now, they had more selection. They weren't trying to rebuild the country. Uh, so you, you think it's a class, like they're basically bringing in low class people. So no, they're no, getting no. low class So what they're problems? getting is when you have, uh, what I'm saying is we've always heard black people are criminals. It's because of the color of their skin. Mm -hmm. Race realists would say that. Mm -hmm. Some some people would go as far as because of the color of the skin. Mm -hmm. Some would say it's because of their culture. Some would say, that, I say the number one predictor is class, mm -hmm. which is, it, it doesn't matter if you're black, white or Arab or mm -hmm. from a Pakistani background or whatever background you are. If you are working class, you are more likely to be engaged in criminality anywhere in the world. And the reason why I brought to your attention mm -hmm. the case of um, the Pakistan is the same people with the same religion. 
Okay, but you put them in one place, they've got a different working class, so the risk reward ratio for them is less. Therefore, they perform from a socioeconomic perspective much better. Another place, because England had a different set of economic reasons for bringing these people in. What are you saying is absolutely right, because if you're in a lower class, if you're poor, if you don't have money, you're going to have more of a reason to commit crimes. That's why even if you just look at all these rappers, let's say like 50 Cent, every, you know, a lot of people know the movie Get Rich or Die Trying. He had to go out there and hustle. He had to sell crack. He had to sell drugs just to get his foot in the door and start making some money because a lot of times there's not opportunity for these people in these impoverished areas. And guess what? They're not even being taught what to do to make money because they don't teach you that in school. They just teach you how to go in and can continue to get an education. And maybe one day you'll do this and do that. And you have to pay $80,000 a year for college and da, 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 da. Not everyone has time for that. Some people have problems now. Some people have little brothers, little sisters. They don't have their father. They might not even have their mother. They're basically raising themselves. And what they're talking about when they're talking about, you know, molestation and all this rape and all this stuff, it's basically what they're saying is, number one, you have to judge it by the individual. Now, there's going to be a lot of sick people out there, like how when they talked about Catholic priests, you know, where they are, where they're doing this to, to little boys and so on and so forth. What's really happening is there's a lot of sickos out there that are in a position of power and they get around children and then they start doing disgusting things. So there's going to be people that are gross, but we have to stop trying to group people together as in, oh, maybe Islam people and Muslims do this, or maybe Christians do this, or black people do this, or whatever. We need to start looking at people as an individual and stop looking at them as a group, and then we can truly judge people as an individual and by their own individual actions. Yeah, that is exactly it right there, because it just happens all the time with this group division you know and humans we are not black and white it, it is very very gray and you know we are all one as in you know we are all just one creation we all are just one you know human race made by god but we are also one as in each of us is one individual person you know what I mean? And we're all different from each other. It doesn't matter if two people have the same color skin. It doesn't matter. They're not going to be the same. It doesn't matter if two people live in the same neighborhood. It doesn't matter. They're not going to be the same. If two people have the same religion, it does not matter. Everybody is making their own decisions every single day. And not only that, but individuals themselves can change day to day. You know what I mean? Like what they believe one day might be different five years later. So it is ever, 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 ever changing. Grouping us up and acting as if because this one thing that holds these people in common means they're all the same across the board, that is not reality. And that is used as a weapon time and time and again in history to keep us divided. So we have to stop that thinking and realize we're all individual. And even when religion is used in the human's corrupted mind, for example, you know, in Christianity, they used to, you know, do the crusades and kill and war, essentially, in the name of Christianity. You know what I mean? But even that, I still don't think Christianity is the problem. You know what I mean? This all of these, like it said, Islam should be separated from the Muslims because we're all individuals. We're all going to interpret things differently. But what it it doesn't mean that the core of what it's supposed to mean, the religion itself, it doesn't mean it's bad because the humans had the wrong interpretation. You know what I mean? So, yeah, absolutely. I mean, we can't be thinking like this. This is group division and it keeps us divided. And we have to we have to understand we are all individuals and we can't just judge people off that. With that being said, though, yes, I would agree that class does does absolutely play a role above any of that for sure more than any of those because when you're in desperate situations that's when you have to start doing desperate things so that of course plays a role in life but interesting interesting conversation definitely oh you're absolutely correct kelly and um yeah you're just you know i'm proud of you because you're getting good at very good at speaking and you're just Thank you. projecting your your thoughts and your emotions and exactly 
the thoughts that you want to portray, you're, they're coming across very well. So you're doing a great job and I'm very proud of you and I love you very much. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys for donating. Even just one dollar, one cent, a hundred dollars, it doesn't matter. It lets us know that we're on the right track. We're doing the right things. We have a lot of exciting stuff coming for you guys this month. We're going hard on so video. Exciting. So we're excited and we're ready to rumble, guys. Stay tuned with us, lock in with us. We're here for you guys. Thank you. We love you. you. We'll see you next. in the next video. <laughs>